जय माता दी गाइस आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन यू ओवर हेयर हाउ फ्रैक्शनल डिस्टिलेशन वर्क इन केस ऑफ क्रूड ऑयल एंड यू गेट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ ग्रेड ओवर हेयर नाउ दिस इज जस्ट एन एग्जाम्पल विद अ रेफरेंस टेम्परेचर दैट आई सेट ओके डू योर ओन रिसर्च दो वील बी पुटिंग द एग्जैक्ट लाइफ फॉर श्योर फॉर यू गाइज ओके एनी मीन जस्ट ए रेफरेंस हाउ इट वर्क सो आउट हेयर देर आर सेपरेट चैम्बर्स ओके लाइक दिस And in each chamber, different temperature is maintained. Overhead 30 degree centigrade, overhead 30 to 180 degree centigrade temperature, overhead 180 to 260 degree centigrade temperature, overhead between 260 and 350, overhead 350 to 500, overhead greater than 520, overhead greater than 580. Say, okay. Now we get a crude oil from here and we put it over here. Now again, just a reference. Now what happens? Vapors are formed. Now there is a going to be a vapor which will still, which will say, "Oh, 580 degrees, I will stay a vapor." It comes out. 520, I will still stay a vapor. 350, I will stay a vapor. 260, I will stay a vapor. Comes up. 180, I will still stay a vapor. Now 30 degrees, I will still stay a vapor. Immediately comes over and goes as gases. इसको तुम लिक्विड नहीं बना सकते गैस लाइक मीथेन सो यू गेट इट ऑन द टॉप नाउ द सेकंड लेयर कम्स गैसेस आर इवेपोरेटिंग बट दिस गैस ओह इट विल स्टे वेपर ओवर हेयर 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 बट एज सून एज इट रीचेस इन दिस टेंपरेचर से एट 50 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड इट बिकम्स लिक्विड दैट इज नैपथा इज कनेक्टेड ओवर हेयर व्हेन द वेपर कम्स It becomes liquid over here at 180 degree centigrade temperature. That is kerosene. One vapor comes. It says over oh, 260 degree centigrade. That is gas oil. Use on ship. Lubricants at 350 degree centigrade becomes liquid on ship. Fuel oil. Now this is why it is called residual fuel oil. See, all the good quality has gone. Degraded stuff are staying below. Right? Worst quality fuel. 520 degree centigrade temperature becomes liquid. Okay, fine. I need it. Similarly, as far and finally, what remains down below is vitamin. Coal tar. So this is how basic funda was not to give you the exact values out here, but to make you understand how this fractional distillation process works. And from crude oil, which you have taken from Mother Earth. How you are getting these different kinds of oil, and the cost is very very different for each oil out here. It's money, right? So that is why heavy fuel oil is used. Clear? The process we consider one tower where distillation process is taking place. Crude oil is supplied to a furnace before the distillation tower. Where crude oil is heated and vaporized, and it becomes the crude oil mixture. The vapor and liquid mixture is then fed into the bottom section of the tower. The feed section is the hottest point in the distillation tower and can reach as high as 400 degrees C. Components that are still liquid at this elevated temperature become the tower's bottom product. Components that are in vapor form rise up the tower through a series of distillation stages. The temperature decreases as the vapors rise through the tower and the components condense. The yield from a distillation tower refers to the relative percentage of each of the separated components, known as product streams. Products from the distillation tower range from gases at the top to very heavy. Viscous liquids at the bottom. In all cases, these product streams are still considered unfinished and require further processing to become useful products. Light products, light ends are further separated into propane, normal butane, and isobutene. This stream is often referred to as liquefied petroleum gas, 
LPG, and is sold as a cooking and heating fuel. Naphtha, could be blended into motor gasoline, but is more likely sent to a catalytic reforming unit for octane improvement. Kerosene, is generally treated and used as jet fuel. Heavier distillate streams, are also treated and blended into finished diesel fuel or home heating oil or are further processed in conversion units such as fluidized catalytic cracking and hydrocracking. The routing of these streams will vary as product demand changes to either maximize diesel production or gasoline production. Lowest end of columns, asphalt, power generation and marine fuel.